In this video, we're going to construct a 30-60-90 right triangle. Uh, if you look at the drawing right here, uh, let's take a note of some of the properties. Obviously, a right angle. And if you notice, the hypotenuse is two times the length of the small side. And of course, it's 30, 60, and 90 degrees. Okay, there's two methods to do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to construct the 30-60-90 right triangle using both of them. Uh, if you recall, let's assume this is a 30, this is a equilateral triangle, and each side would have the same length. Therefore, each of these angles would be the same length. And since it's 180 degrees, each of these angles would have to be 60 degrees. So all we've got to do is just construct a, an equilateral triangle. 30, 60, 90 triangle using an equilateral triangle as our strategy. So again, we draw a line segment to start one of the sides. Pick a point, okay? Then using our compass, we'll establish the lengths of the equilateral triangle. So they're gonna be each this length, okay? Okay. Okay, this is one of the vertices, the other vertex, three. And now let's connect them to make our sides. Okay. Okay, so these are each 60 degrees. And now, again, if we can draw, draw a perpendicular line, we will get our 90 degree angle. So to do that, let's pick a point. Let's make the, the angle go right through this point right here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is draw two endpoints. It's gonna be really tight, but we're gonna do it anyway. There's one arc. Another arc. So these are our two endpoints. And again, we'll adjust our compass. And from each endpoint, we'll draw an arc above, arc below. Okay. This endpoint, draw an arc above and an arc below. Okay. And then we will draw our perpendicular line going through these three points. Okay. And there you go. This is 60 degrees because this is part of the equilateral triangle. This is 90 degrees because it's a perpendicular bisector. Of course, the remaining angle is 30 degrees. And here's our 30, 60, 90 right triangle. Okay, now method two for constructing a 30, 60, 90. Uh, as we noted before, uh, if you know, the hypotenuse is twice the length of the small side. So if we can construct a triangle with a right angle, and then where the hypotenuse is twice the length of the small side, we would have a 30, 60, 90. So let's try to do that. Okay, so we're going to draw uh, some right angles and a line segment, two line segments, one of one length and one twice that length. So first, let's draw, actually, let's do all that together. Let's take this line segment. First of all, let's draw a, uh, a line that goes through this, a perpendicular bisector, so to speak. So again, to do that, we basically, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a perpendicular bisector between these two points. Okay, so let's do that first. Okay, we start at one end point. We draw an arc above it and an arc below it. Okay, and then from the other end point, we draw an arc above it and an arc below it. Okay, and then we draw a line going through these intersecting arcs. Okay, and what we've done is we've drawn a right angle. Okay, and it happens to bisect these two points. And actually, that's going to be quite helpful because look what we have here. We have this is a given length, and this is half that given length because these are congruent. Okay, so let's take this is the small length, and the length of the hypotenuse is going to be this long length. Use our measurement. Okay, and all we now have to do is just draw a line with this length. So we'll draw an arc like so. Okay, 
And then we just draw a line connecting these. Like so, okay. And there we go. This length of this hypotenuse is this length. Okay, let's call that, uh, we're going to call that 2x. And since this was bisected, this length is x. Okay, which means since this hypotenuse is twice the length of this small side, and this is a 90 degree angle, we have ourselves a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. This is 60 degrees, this is 30. Okay?